we must always give glory and praises to Yahweh Sham Yah Shai for waking us up. Give glory and praises to our power, Yahweh Sham Yah Shai, for waking us up. First and foremost, I give all praise and glory to Yahweh Sham Yah Shai. Bracha for Yahweh Sham Yah Shai. Bahasham Raka Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out. Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters. So begging and seeking this truth. To seek this truth, which is a beautiful thing, right? Beautiful. All praise and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahshai. To know that you're an Israelite. And to daily seek out Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Although he chooses you, but you daily seek him. Now these Muslims now, I tell you what, I have to go on to these Muslims now. They think they know everything. They know nothing. These Muslims with their false religion know nothing, spreading lies. Okay? They're not the truth. Okay? They just spread lies. This Muslim here is a well-known Muslim. At Speaker's Corner. Okay? Where these Muslims gather together and these so-called Christians and they debate, blah, blah, blah. But they just, this guy here, all right? He speaks very fast, right? So you might have to play it back a couple of times. But he speaks very fast and he just in, pushes his indoctrination onto people, okay? And they play semantics. They play with words, okay? Listen to what he's going to say, okay? Listen to what he's going to say. How men lived 1400 years ago, the new our something which we can observe now. You don't have to be a Muslim to observe that. Go to Google, the tallest building, Dubai, Bush Khalifa. So how Prophet Muhammad SAW mentioned that? For example, he said there will come a time when the Arabs, they will stop using camels as a riding beast. You know the Arabs, if you study the history, they are people of desert. You know, they, they always use what? Camels. Yeah. You know, he said there will come a time they will stop it, stop using the camels as a riding beast, and they will use something as a box. Wow, wow, wow. Hold on, hold on. Listen to this now, right? His prophet Muhammad prophesied. Wow, listen to this big prophecy now, right? That they're going to stop riding camels and they're going to um, start driving cars. Okay? So, did he prophesy this though? Let me ask you, did he prophesy this though? About floods? Eh? Right? Listen to this now. Look at this now. Right? Right? Catastrophic floods in the Sahara Desert. Uh huh. Did he, did he prophesy that? No, but he talked about camels. They're going to soon start driving cars. Huh? All right, like a big thing. Big prophecy. All right? All right, let me just pause that now and go back to what he's saying. All right? Let me go back. Right, let me go back to what he's saying. All right? Continue what he's saying. And he's going to say something else that I have to cut. Cut it left, right, and center. All right? As a box, they will carry them, carry them to, to, the, to the mosques. That is a curse. Mm. One of the scholars, he said, one of the Muslim scholars said, without any doubt, if the Arab man does not use a camel as a riding beast and use a, 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 a box as a carrier, there, there's not any doubt now. If you go to Dubai, Emirates, Saudi, just cars. Where will you see some people using... Oh, big prophecy, big prophecy. That is a powerful thing. Yeah. That's why, you know, remember, Prophet Muhammad is claiming to be prophet of who? No prophet of uh, 
uh, in a human being, no prophet of the Creator, the King of the Kings. So therefore, he has to come with the proofs, uh, with, the, with the signs that is so powerful, is so clear. That's why when God sent Jesus, one of his miracles used to bring dead people to life. So when the people saw that, they knew who Jesus he must be prophet of God. Because what he's doing is beyond human capacity. Bringing dead people to life. No, listen, that's listen, that's listen. Life. Likewise, listen. for example, born, he was born without a father. You know? Lie? But the story of the Quran, which I will tell you to read. Listen to this now. Called chapter Mary, after the mother of Jesus. It's mentioned this beautiful story of Jesus, how he was born. Right. That without a father. Right, right. Without, without a father. Because from the Jewish culture, that if a woman have a fornication or adultery, you should stone her to death. So when Mary got pregnant, the yes. rabbis, they wanted to do something to her. But Allah defended her by making the baby speak. Well, speak. So they know that Mary is not a liar when she said, no man, no man has touched me. Of course she was touched. Because how she has a baby that can speak, which babies do not speak when they are in the cradle. You understand? So that is a miracle. That's what I respect, you know. The stories in the Quran about Mary, it makes more sense. Because you cannot get a woman pregnant and then you give her no evidence to show the people that no man has touched her. Because if any woman come to me now, she said to me, you know, I'm pregnant. You hear, you hear what he just said? He said there's no proof. Well, I'm going to bring up scriptures here, about six scriptures here, okay? And I know brothers could bring up more in depth. He said that Mary cannot bring, bring forth a child without a man touching her, okay? And it's proof. These Muslims know nothing. Spreading lies. With their false religion, they know nothing. All right, let me bring out a few first, okay? And then go back to this again, okay? They know nothing about prophecies. They don't know about the scriptures. They, just keep on your lane, right? Keeping your false doctrine in your lane and you keep to it and you stick to it and you continue. For, do, do not push your, your idolatry onto other people, right? Because it's false, okay? Look at this now. First one now, I'm going to bring out a few. Right, about six of them. Matthew 1 and 1. Right? And it says, Yahawashai's genealogy. The book of the generation. Right? And when it says the book of the generation, a book of one's lineage. Of Yahawashai HaMashiach. The son of David. The son of Abraham. Right? So that just proves they were, Yahawashai was born of, a, of the seed of David. All right? I don't finish yet, brothers and sisters. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut them. Right? This false idolatry. Okay? And the most I hate that. All right? Here we go again. Right? I'm going to go again. Right? Let me go to the next one now. John 1, 43. John 1, 43. All right? To 45. And it says, the day following Yahushai Hamashiach would go forth into Galilee and find a Philip and say unto him, follow me. Now Philip was of Beth Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Listen now, verse 45, Philip findeth Nathanael and say unto him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Yahushai Hamashiach of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. The son, you know, the son of Joseph, right? They didn't mention Mary, right? This, 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 no man touched Mary. Remember what he said? No man touched Mary. Here we go again, right? Because I don't want to run out of time. Now, this is deep. This is spiritual, okay? All right? Hold on. Hold on. I think I missed something here, right? From verse... Um, um, Matthew 1 Hold on, let me go back to something Matthew 1, hold on Matthew 1 Hold on, because I think I missed something in 16 Hold on, Salakia Yes, back to same Matthew 1 I'm going to jump to ver I read verse 1 
1 and go to 16 now. All right. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahawashai Hamashiach, who is called Yahawashai Hamashiach. You hear that? You see that? All right, let me jump back because I missed that one. Okay, so I did the I did the I did the John. Okay, I said I said John. Let me go to um, Acts now, right? I tell you something. This is deep, man. Don't play with the Most High. Don't play with the Most High. Okay, Mac Acts two and thirty. All right, Acts two and thirty, and it says now. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that Yahweh had sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins what is the fruit of his loins what are you think talking about the fruit of your loins huh okay according to his flesh according to the flesh he would raise up Yahushai Hamashiach to sit on his throne okay all right and that also goes into reincarnation okay let me go again let me go again, brothers and sisters, because I don't like how these, these people are spreading their lies. Okay? We're still in Acts again. Okay? 13, 22. Okay? Acts 13, verse 22 to 23. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to the, be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. All right. Here, here, here it is now. Now Here it is now. This is deep. 23. Of his man's seed. Okay. Have Yahweh, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right? Because you know, say, Yahweh is our deliverer. He's our savior. Okay, this is deep, brothers and sisters, and you come in a, and you want to follow this kind of religion, this kind of false doctrine, huh? Right? Like they know something. Okay, let me go to Revelations now, twenty-two and sixteen. All right, and I tell you, it is deep, you know. That's why you have to love Yahweh Bashan Yahshai for 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 waking you up to knowing the scriptures, because the, the scriptures are a beautiful thing. Beautiful. It's sweet, huh? Revelations twenty-two and sixteen, eh? Right? And it says, I, Yahweh Masha, have sent my angel, okay, to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root, okay? And we say the root and the root is a seed. All right. And the offspring of David, all right? Not no virgin birth, okay? Mary was touched. Mary had sex. Mary laid down. Right? And had sex. Okay? And the bright and morning star. Okay? And when he said the bright and morning star, right? It, the bright and morning star is, 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 is like Lucifer. Okay? And Lucifer is not a bad name. Right? It just means a bright light. Okay? Okay? You hear what I'm saying? Right? A bright and morning star. Oh, I'm telling you, this is so deep, you know. That's why you have to love Yahweh about Shabbat Shabbat. And then you got the last one now in the Apocrypha, right? Wisdom and Solomon, right? 7, um, verse 1 to 2. Myself also am a, a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring, you see, of him that was first made of the earth, Okay? And in my, you see, they don't understand about this reincarnation thing too, you know, right? And my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of the 10 months being compact in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep, right? So let me tell you something, right? These don't follow these false doctrines, right? These Muslims think they know anything. They know something, but they know nothing, Right? Listen to me. Give all glory and praise to Yahweh by Shami Shai that he's woken you up. Okay? And he's used the apostles to help us to know this truth. Shalom, yes? Shalom. Kwam Yashorallah.